Hi, Phil Chandler here. I'm just taking this opportunity between showers on Dartmoor to talk a little bit more about the eco floor. And uh, this oak tree here, splendid old oak tree, which must be at least three or 400 years old. Um, it has been uh, lightly trimmed lately. And here's the, here are the, uh, the bits that were taken off by the tree surgeon. And in the process, of course, they create a nice pile of wood chips, which is actually the perfect material for eco floors. And this has been standing here for, well, since uh, back end of last year. So it's had time to begin to decompose. And there will, amongst all these chips here, there will be uh, molds and fungi starting to grow and spread and uh, there will be small creatures living in this for sure already and this is exactly the sort of material that I had in mind when I when I thought about the uh, the eco floor idea so if you have access to this kind of material um, particularly I think um, hardwoods like like oak that's been standing for a while or you can leave standing for a while then I think this is exactly the sort of thing that makes a great eco floor. Now of course this idea is still experimental, I'm still testing it and a few other people are still testing it as well but I think we're on the right lines. I think it's the sort of, it's, um, it's helping to create the environment that the bees uh, are used to living in and, and we have to presume prefer uh, for, the, for the reasons that they, they actually uh, choose those, the, the, those environments in terms of hollow trees. I'm just pointing the camera up here because there's uh, a nice lot of blossom up here and a lot of lichen which shows how clean the air is up here on the moor and uh, the uh, this uh, as as with most old I, old oak trees you get a lot of ivy growth on here which is which is also useful for the bees late in the season uh, last year the ivy was a bit late and it didn't actually yield terribly well but it's still an important last end of season crop for the bees because it helps them fill up their any spaces in their nest that doesn't have uh, honey in it yet they can fill it up with uh, ivy honey which does crystallize very quickly and it's uh, as far as humans are concerned it's a bit of an acquired taste it's not one of my favorites but it's okay it's it's crunchy <laughs> would be the word for it it sets really quickly and it's uh, it's crunchy this hive has been set up to be attractive to bees. You can see it's got top bars in it that I've had comb on, just a little bit of comb there just to make it smell nice. And I've just been putting into the hive handfuls of these uh, partially decomposed oak chips, which are slightly damp, which is, I think, ideal. And I'm just filling the, uh, the floor to a level where the, um, the follower board can sit comfortably if I make a little indent into the floor the, 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 the follower board can sit comfortably in that and that provides a seal there to stop um, unwanted visitors like uh, like wasps and so on and that's really how that's how I set up an eco floor just uh, just like that I'm just going to put the insulation back on that's not enough insulation by the way that's just a a stopgap measure. Um, there, well, there was a mouse nest in this hive. In fact, last time I opened the hive, a mouse popped his head out, and um, I had to persuade it that perhaps it wasn't the best place for it to live. But it seems to have moved out now. So anyway, that's just a few words uh, about ecofloor material. Um, this is my preference, and you'll notice that just under the surface, it's quite damp because, well. Devon, Devon's a pretty damp place and particularly Dartmoor uh, and I think it needs to have well it definitely needs to have um, a, a degree of moisture when it's inside the hive this is this is the apiary right here you can see um, and that's been the big challenge actually with the, the eco floor is actually keeping the moisture content something close to what it should be or what it needs to be um, the tendency seems to have been to have it to, to dry out somewhat and uh, that's something we, uh, we will need to uh, avoid. The tendency to dry out is something that's not easy to overcome because, okay, you can, uh, you can put 
uh, you can you can have irrigation systems perhaps uh, in operation, but uh, as a general principle, it's uh, it's not an easy thing to do. I mean, you can you can spray it with water, and uh, Mick Dol Dollymore up in Welcome um, had uh, had an irrigation system going for a while on his, uh, you, involving a bottle at one end of the hive, which uh, he would fill up occasionally, and then there would be a drip feed um, through the uh, through the eco floor itself, and that's certainly something you can do. But obviously. What we're really aiming for is something that's self-maintaining, self-managing, and uh, that's still a work in progress. And if anybody has further ideas about the eco floor, I'm I, I'd be delighted to hear them. And uh, anybody that's tried anything that's worked, or even that hasn't worked very well, it's always worth uh, adding some adding some comments below because uh, I do read them. And if something interesting comes up, it's. Uh, it's something I might take up and, and, and experiment with myself and report back on. So there you go, a quick talk about the eco floor and uh, there will be more as the season goes on.